Hello my people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caroline and if it's your first time stopping by, you are definitely welcome to my channel. Don't forget to like, to subscribe and to leave some comments below. Be sure to turn on the notification so that you don't miss out on my next video. In today's video, I am going to talk about smelling good all the time. It's very important for us human beings to take care of our body. You know, as you know, if you cannot be able to take care of your body, you'll find that you'll be smelling, you know. So we don't need to be smelling when we're going out, you know. So I think it's very important to take a shower. And it depends on you as an individual how many times you take your shower. You know, some people prefer taking a shower once a day. And then some people prefer taking a shower twice a day. And then other people prefer taking a shower three times a day, depending on, on each and every person. You know, I also think that it's very important also to avoid eating food that smells a lot. As you know, there's some other food that has got a bad smell, more special fish, you know. Fish, I know that fish is rich in protein. We all need fish, you know, but fish is one of the food that smells so bad and garlic you know such kind of food if you eat them most of the time you'll find that your body you know it'll be like smelling you know so now i'm going to start by telling you the places where you, you have to apply perfume before going to showing you the tips on how to apply your perfume you have to make sure that once when you you take your shower you moisturize your skin in order for the for the skin to be soft you know if you are not going to moisturize your skin it will be like the skin will be dry you know you don't have to apply any kind of cream or chemical on your body when the skin is dry you know always you have to make sure that when you apply something on your skin your your body has to be a little bit wet you know so that the the chemical or the cream should hold longer on the skin you know because most of what cream they don't last longer on dry skin you know so now we are going to go further on how to apply apply perfume on your skin you know once when you're applying your perfume you have to make sure that you apply your perfume on the neck of on the on the on the back of your neck you know it's very important and then on your elbow you know as you know, most of the time when we speak to people, we normally use our hands, you know, in greeting, hugging, you know, you find that sometimes when you try to hug somebody, you find that maybe your arms, you know, they'll be smelling. So we don't, to avoid that, you have to make sure that you apply your elbow in order for, for your hands to smell nice, you know. And then the other place that I would just say is behind your, your knee, you know, it's very important to apply perfume behind, at the back of your knee. You know as you know back there on the joint on the back of the knee you always sweat more special if you sit down there's some people who sweats a lot so to avoid that you know you have to make sure that you moisturize apply perfume there and then also on the waist as you know there's some people who normally used to, to sweat around the stomach you know the stomach is one of the areas that smells as well you know some people have never observed that their stomach is very important also when you are applying perfume because the stomach sweats more special for those ones who have got a problem in what when it comes to sweating make sure that you moisturize the stomach area you know to avoid smelling you know and then i'm going to to go on saying how to choose your like your cream or or your lotion it depends on the brand that you you prefer you you can coordinate the the lotion or perfume with the brand that you you like you know because with that i cannot decide for you that you have to buy from fenty what and what you know you have to choose something that suits your body as you know we all have got different types of body you know choose something that smells okay on your skin you know as you know we all have got different smell you know so it's very important to you know to take care of our, our body you know sometimes when i used to go in the train 
And then sometimes you find that when you sit next to a person, you find that some other people, they have got a lot of smell, you know. I don't know if some other people, they don't smell themselves, you know. So you'll find that sometimes you won't, you won't like it when you sit next to somebody who smells, you know. But to avoid that, you have to make sure that even when you go to work, go to the toilet, clean your armpit, clean your what? More special, the buttocks also, you know, smells. Because the buttocks also sweats, you know. Some people think that maybe it's only the private part, you know, that smells. No. The buttocks also smells. That's where you sweat a lot, you know. So you have to make sure that you clean that area most of the time when you go to the toilet, you know. In order to avoid smelling you know and then the last one I'll just say that make sure that you clean your body in a proper way to avoid smelling you know so see you guys in my next video and I hope that you're going to take good care of yourselves so bye bye lovelies